<coughs> All right, welcome to another Untitled Review. Today's a very special review because uh, I, I was down at my local uh, liquor store uh, and, you know, as I do, I head straight for the little fat lamb case because, you know, it was... I was on my way into work and I, and you know, well, I had to, I had to stop by the liquor store on my way to work and I went straight to the little fat lamb case and you know, I noticed something straight away, new fucking flavor. So there was a new flavor. So I grabbed that, right? To review. But as I was grabbing it, new flavor, right? So there was two new flavors there. Uh, now. Of course, like, I, I was grabbing those to review later, and I didn't want to, like, spoiler it, so I had to get another couple of little fat lambs to, like, drink at work. You know, just to... take the edge off. Yeah. Alright. Um, I got Fantasy, by the way. Uh, got, got some little fat lamb Fantasy. Uh, for my daily drinker. But, um... You know what? We've got a very special, this is gonna be a two-part fucking episode today two parts um so we're gonna do a double review so we're gonna review two little fat lambs it's a double review so that's gonna be like we're gonna review one of these and then we're gonna review the other one now let's get started now um fuck i, I don't know which one to drink first what do you guys think because uh, you know i've got this one and then i've got this one now this one is actually not all the way in frame so we're going to do that one second. Okay, so just pretend that one's not over there, because that is for part two of this video. So here we go. Welcome to part one. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is happening? Now, we have a very special Untitled uh, Reviews uh, for you today. We're going to be reviewing Little Fat Lamb Brewed Fruity Tango Alcohol 8% Vol Alcoholic. Uh, Est Oz. Hest Oz. That's... That's really fucking odd. Okay, Est Oz. Little Fat Lamb Brewed Fruity Tango Alcoholic Alc 8% Vol 1.25 litre. Alright, uh, let's have a quick look here. Please drink responsibly. Oh, we will. I uh, have have the appropriate qualifications to serve drinks, um, so we're going to be drinking these responsibly. Uh, get the facts, drinkwise.org.au. Why don't you get the fucked? But we will, of course, drink responsibly. Okay, we can get a 10 cent refund at collection depots and participating state territory purchase. Best served chilled, best before see bottle. I, I don't fucking know. I just got it from the liquor store. It's a new flavor. Let's hope. Let's hope it's okay. Uh, I did see bottle. I see bottle. I don't fucking know. All right. Brewed and bottled in Australia. Produced for United Distillers. Distributed by Drinkcraft. Proprietary Limited. 900 Pacific Pi Highway. Lizaro, Central Coast, New South Wales. 22.50. Standard drink. 7.9 approx. Brewed wine product. Remember, this is wine. We're classy. Drink responsibly, contain sulfites, alcoholic beverage, may contain milk, egg and gluten, pregnancy warning, alcohol can cause lifelong harm to your baby. Good to know. All right. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, mm. oh. oh, we almost forgot. Barcode time. Fuck yeah. Barcode. Nine, three, four, five, five, seven, seven, zero, zero, four, six, four, zero. Barcode! Wait a minute. Just do a quick sneaky preview here. Four. Okay, they're not like sequential or anything. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about that. That was not related to this video. That was related to part two of this video. And this is part one. Okay. So, let's uh, review. Little Fat Lamb Brewed Alcoholic Fruity Tango. Alcohol 8% Vol. Little Fat Lamb Estos. Okay, you ready? Okay. 
Okay. All right. It's got that uh, stuff coming up. Let's smell it. Oh, I see what they did. This is very sneaky of them. Also, you might notice this sheep is wearing a hat and a scarf. Now, the scarf isn't very firmly attached, but it appears to be windblown, so the wind is holding the scarf on. So it's okay. Now, I think I see what they're doing here with Fruity Tango. Have you ever had, like, those, those fruit tangles? Like, those, um... Those candies, they come in like the lifesaver type roll thing, but they're not, they're, they're tingles. Smells like that shit. But will it taste like that shit or pour like that shit? Let's see. Also, I'm going to say, like, I really like the bottle picture on this. It's like got colors and shit. It reminds me of when they um, initially released Little Fat Lamb Brewed Alcoholic Fantasy with Guarana. Uh, and they got taken to court and had to change the um, label to be less fun. So let's see if that happens. Okay. Now, let's do the pour shot. Oh, shit. It's pink. Pink. Or is it purple? Is it pink or is it purple? Uh, get in the comments and tell me, because I don't know. Or is it brown? We don't know. All right, hold up. Smells like it did before, but hold on. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I was really fucking thirsty before I started making this. I forgot to taste it. Just sort of slid it all down there. <sighs> Tastes good. Tastes mildly like those candies. The fruit tingle candies. Are they fruit tingle candies? I think they are. Um, it is inoffensive. It's a good flavor. I hope they keep this one, honestly. It's fairly chill. It covers up the um, Little Fat Lamb signature ass taste really well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7.9 approximately out of 10. Um, that was actually really good. Hmm. All right. Now, we're going to put this one away because it's now time for part two of this video. So um, have a have a look out. You should see um, part two of this video uh, will be uploaded shortly where we'll be reviewing another uh, Little Fat Lamb flavor. <coughs> uh, hello, cunts. Welcome to part two. All right. You successfully clicked part two of this video and we're going to be reviewing another flavor. Uh, let's see. So we have here, uh, I think the camera's all smudged up. Hold on. Wipe it off with my fucking greasy arm. No, oh, that's worse. Hold on. Yeah, look, I don't know if that's better, but it's, uh, it's what we're going to get. Okay. We've got here. Oh, look at this sheep. This is a skeleton sheep. It's a sheep that's got a skeleton on it. Watch out, sheepy. There's a skeleton there. All right. Est Oz. We have here Est Oz. Little Fat Lamb. Brewed Alcoholic Ginger Firebomb. Alcohol 8% with natural guarana. Uh, 1.25 litre. Okay. Uh, warning, extreme heat. We'll see about that. I've actually eaten ginger before. Like, straight. Yeah, don't even give a fuck. All right, uh, get the facts from Drinkwise, or go you. Please drink responsibly. No pregnant ladies. Uh, let's see, 10 cent refund, uh, uh, collection, depots, slash points in participating state slash territory of purchase. Well, that's good. Best served chilled, best before sea bottle. And tell me what to see, cunt. Is it actually on this bottle? Like, oh, here it is. Wait a second. Best. Best before. Oh, it's really hard to tell. Uh, 2811. 2025, I think. All right, so we're good. We're good. Fuck, what was the other one? The other one? Oh, the other one did have it printed. 16, 10, 25. All right, no, we're good. So just imagine you were watching part one, and I did, and it was, like, within the best before, so we're good. 
All right. Uh, this one is brewed and bottled in Australia, produced for United Distillers and distributed by Drinkcraft Proprietary Limited. They're at 900 Pacific Highway, Lizaro, Central Coast, New South Wales, 2250. Do you live anywhere near there? If any of my viewers live there, please just go visit the wonderful people at Drinkcraft Proprietary Limited. Tell them Untitled sent you and, uh, you know, get in the comment section and tell us about like the Willy Wonka-esque journey that you go on. At that uh, that that place. I think it's going to be pretty fucking amazing. All right. So this is uh, seven point nine standard drinks approx. Yeah. Like, please visit their winery and tell me what it's like. Um, I imagine it's a beautiful vineyard. Okay. It contains caffeine. Interesting. The last few I've reviewed didn't say that. This one says contains caffeine. Brewed wine product contains sulfites. Alcoholic beverage may contain milk, egg, and gluten. The contains caffeine is really interesting. Huh, normally like, you know, natural grana or shit, they can get around it and not, not show it. But the fact it does say it contains caffeine is interesting to me. Um, I do remember Four Loco, uh, which uh, was, probably still is, a very popular drink in the United States. I mean, I fucking love Four Loco. Wish we'd get it here. I mean, yeah, honestly, like, that'd be cool. But, um, yeah, Four Loco was originally loaded with caffeine as well as an obscene amount of alcohol. And uh, some people got upset, you know, religious types mostly. Uh, and then they ended up changing it. So it was just, just like an Alcapop, like all the other ones. But, you know, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, cunt. All right. So uh, what are we doing here? Are oh, we reviewing something? Yeah. Okay. Oh, barcode. Barcode. Ready? Nine, three, four, five, five, seven, seven, zero, zero, four, seven, zero, one. Let's drink responsibly. Well, let's open responsibly first. Okay. The cap's off. Not a lot of the cool smoky shit out of this one. Not smoky, vapory? Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. But not a lot of that going on here. Oh, that's got... Okay, immediately. Like, I'm not even... Like, my face isn't jammed even right up to this thing this time. I probably should have, but I didn't. It has a very strong ginger smell. They have really loaded this with ginger flavor essence, I imagine. Or, um, some ginger they found somewhere, perhaps. Um, yeah, it's interesting. They don't have to put ingredients on booze. I, I, I don't know why I feel like they should. Is there ginger in there? Is there not? I don't know. But it smells very gingery. All right, let's do a pour shot. Okay. Now, you real Untitled fans might see there's, like, uh, the remnants of something in this cup. What is that? Post in the comments if you know. That's a good sound. It's got a good sound. It's got a good smell to it. It smells very gingery, but it smells like, like, just smelling it. Here. Smell. Here. But I'm sure what you'll notice, like smelling it, um, is that it smells a lot sweeter than the other little fat lamb um, ginger. Honestly, the smell really reminds me of that time um, we were making ginger beer in the post-grad common room. You probably remember this. So we, we were in there and we had one of those, you know, those... Uh, like, they have those water dispensers in there, you know, those big, like, 15 litre or whatever they are, 10 litre, 5 litre, whatever, I don't know, things of water that go on the top of the dispenser. And, you know, you'd, um, you'd, uh, just open one up and, and, like, dump a bunch of, like, you know, make your own ginger beer mix in there and some yeast and shit, put a vapor lock in there and just shove it in the mini fridge in the, in the, in the common room. Um, no one else could use the mini fridge. It took out the whole fucking thing, but it was all right. Because in a couple of weeks, you know, I was going to say, we all get drunk. I get drunk. Yeah. Um, good times. It smells a lot like that. So you, you probably are familiar with that smell. Like, it smells a lot like that. Um, which apparently is, like, regular. Wait, is there a ginger little fat lamb? Fuck me. There is, right? Yes. There's a ginger beer little fat lamb. It, it smells a lot like that, but with, like, a million times more sugar. Okay. Like, you can smell the sweetness of it. Okay. So it smells more sweet. No, it smells sugary. Yeah, it smells really strongly of sugar and ginger. Yeah. Okay. We're going to give this a quick shot. You ready, cunts? This is going to blow your fucking mind. 
That is not very extreme. I'm sorry, this said warning, extreme heat. If you ever had ginger, right? Like, like even, even a chalk coated ginger, like, you know, you bought yourself some, some chalk coated ginger, you know, that nice dark chocolate coated ginger, which I love by the way, you know, if you're wondering what to get me for, um, you know, my birthday or something like that, like, uh, not that something a lot better, but maybe some of that as well. Okay. But, uh, what I will say is if you've ever had that, imagine a much, much milder version of that. Like, and that stuff's like not extremely hot. It's like glissade ginger coated in chocolate. It's not hot at all. Um, but really what they've captured here is the taste of much, much more mild glissade ginger. Which is good. Like, honestly, it's a good drink. It just doesn't have any extreme heat. So if you don't care about extreme heat, but you do like things that taste delicious, I would, I would go with this rather than the um, regular ginger little fat lamb which i don't remember that well except for being able to compare it to this quite accurately um but i'm going to drink some more yeah honestly that is really good it's fairly chill um it really does taste of ginger but just like like i said like let's say ginger like a candy ginger but a lot weaker which I guess makes sense. It's a bunch of water and alcohol and cum and ginger flavoring and stuff like that in there. Probably, I don't know, they don't publish the fucking ingredients. Um, you know, allegedly that is what it contains. I'm just going to cover my bases here. All right. So what I'm going to need all of you to do is to reach out to your local drink craft representative or just go to their website, find an email address, uh, email them, link them to my videos and be like, this guy needs a fucking sponsorship. You need to sponsor Mr. Untitled. And the best way you can sponsor him is by uh, give, giving him a bunch of little fat lambs. Like, honestly, if I even just get the fucking heads up when a new flavor's coming out, rather than having to, like, go to the liquor store two, three times a day to fucking check, you know, that would be good. Fuck. Seven point nine, approx out of ten.